All right, to put some long words short, if you're not here yet, uh, you're too late for the party and uh, we will not get any food after this, I guess, because we did not send the email. Um, anyways, uh, we're the Noise Project. Um, this is Sebastian, I'm Christian, and um, well, here's our travel report. Um, yeah, during the last year we've seen, well, I'm standing. During the last year we've seen many uh, ups and downs and we've been to quite a lot of places uh, as part of the project. And um, yeah, today um, we will show you what we've presented at these places. And um, what we will not do is uh, demo any software because uh, we've done that during the last two presentations. But um, during the coffee break you might check out some stuff uh, on our laptops in a personal one-to-one -one introduction. So, um, where do we start? We started with a vision. Um, basically, this vision uh, was uh, developed as part of, um, yeah, in long discussions uh, during the project, based on our personal background, uh, based on our interests, uh, based on the skills that we had in the group. And, um, yeah, after these initial discussion sessions, we got, uh, to the conclusion that we wanted to build an integrated solution um, for working with audio. So um, we had uh, four basic pillars that we wanted to work on. One is finding files, um, auditioning files, doing basic editing, and uh, interfacing the data. So um, at the first presentation, we uh, presented. Ah, oh, there we go. Doesn't work. At, at, at the first presentation, um, we presented criteria for uh, what would make our success. Um, first one was, um, if we learn to work effectively and cooperatively in this multinational and interdisciplinary context <laughs> as a team, then we have succeeded. Um, bold words. Um, we had more of these bold words back then. Um, if we learn the process by which products are made, learn how groups work together to develop new ideas and conduct research, then we have succeeded. Um, so, it's all about learning, basically. Um, third statement was, uh, if our solution of a well-documented and tested and evaluated software solution for audio users actually makes an impact on the daily life of people that use audio samples, then we have succeeded. So, um, yeah. If you put up bold words in the start, of course, there's a lot of things you do not achieve. So, um, what did we not achieve? Um, we had all these ambitious goals, um, and um, yeah, we had quite some problems to get the whole group working uh, cooperatively in the way we intended to. It worked in smaller subgroups, but um, yeah, it might have been better here and there. Um, we had a lot of ideas, but uh, we realized only a little of them. I guess that's rather a good point, uh, having a lot of ideas. And um, we might have achieved more with better group work, actually. Um, what we did not have, because we were like, yeah, let's have a flat hierarchy. We don't need a project manager. Um, in the end, it turned out it would have been better to have a project manager. Someone who actually uh, yeah, yeah, gets the communication going and um, makes us, uh, yeah, takes us out of this headlessness, basically. Um, we did not set up any strict deadlines and uh, we did not yeah, really have an authority to enforce it. Um, due to the lack of project management. And um, quite often these project meetings were used for technical discussions rather than to make like uh, more general decisions or discuss on a meta level about things. Um, which sometimes uh, yeah, also led to very slow processes and um, yeah, <coughs> help to get things done. But I mean, usually you should work outside the project uh, meetings and just have those to discuss the results. So, who? Anyways, um, we achieved a lot. Uh, so, I'm going to hand you over to Sebastian. What did we actually do? So, does it work? Okay. 
Um, well, what, what did we actually do? Um, we, let's say, we traveled a lot all around the globe. Um, well, we go, went to many places in Europe, also at the east and western coast in uh, North America, and we somehow skipped the Asia part, so this must be somewhere here. Um, we did not uh, went to too many places there, uh, about zero. But before I start, some stuff that we did in the last year, I wanted to point out one thing, and that's all about that I had the feeling in the last presentations, uh, last presentation that we did, that um, some people think that the stuff that we did is just about that about me, and that I will just would write so much code in that short amount of time that we come up with some well some fancy uh, computer programs. But um, there, are, I could not write any line of code if um, there wouldn't be that that really amazing project team behind those, uh, let's say, amazing stuff that we did, for example, the Thought Touch. In the very, very first time that we started, in the very first week, we began to, let's say, prototyping on whiteboards. So this is a, let's say, screenshot, but a photograph of our whiteboard uh, that we had for several months in our project room. So uh, we begin to scribble and uh, try to discuss idea how different modules came together uh, for our vision. And as we did that, uh, we come up with a more detailed idea what are the different uh, functions and methods that we need on an interface, for example, uh, SoundTorch, as you've seen it before. And Still then, you could not begin to just hacking any kind of program. So especially Michael um, come up with 3D renderings and uh, Photoshop mockups to let's say how could be a more detailed uh, lookout uh, of, of the SoundTorch program uh, would be. And said, okay, we have some speakers around the plane and we want to do the uh, icons on somewhat a surface or something. And then Christian began to come up with a really working prototype that has been done in processing. So in that program you could really just uh, <coughs> set up the speakers somewhat on the circles and you will have something like a shining light on a surface and then you have this, and this thing, it's boxes and they are just coming out of that green thingy um, to tell you how loud they are playing back or something like that. Um, and then again, first, if we had that working prototype out of processing, then I could start to write a, uh, a Windows software, for example, and we presented this, uh, this interface uh, on the AES last year in San Francisco. And, uh, well, you've seen that before, because we showed it. Uh, also in the last presentation and also in the very first presentation. Um, but we did not stop working on that. So we had more ideas and we get a lot of comments on those um, conferences and talking to those uh, research people and other guys. And we want to enhance uh, the, the icons on the surface. So again, other people tried to come up with ideas, how can we do better icons and we get those eclipse-like thingies and we put them into the actual version of SoundTorch, um, which looked like that. It has to be presented in Boston uh, several months ago, I don't know, some, some weeks or so. Kai conference. At the Kai conference. So, and again, we did not stop working on that, so we are still try to do something more with SoundTouch. So we want to do the head tracking thingy so Christian began to mount IR LEDs uh, at a headphone so that one can track the head movements of a user with a remote and so on. But, well, this has never been published yet. Okay, so much for SoundTouch, Christian. <laughs>